Hey guys, it's Jake LeGrand with LeGrand Metalworks here over at ESOB HQ, and we're gonna be going over 10 things you need to know about plasma cutting. One, you need to know your power source. For most cases, you wanna run these on 220, but we have the ability to run on 120. It comes with an adapter for that, and then in my shop, I actually have a generator, so I have another adapter that fits the amperage needs, and it's just plug and play. Two, you need to make sure you have good air. In my shop, I'm running about 100 PSI. You wanna also make sure you have good dry air. So if you got moisture in lines, go ahead and get you an inline air filter. Take care of that issue. One thing that's really cool about 30 plus is it's got an auto-regulated air pressure. So as you set the amperage, that air pressure is gonna get adjusted. Three, setting your amperages. So this machine, the 30 plus, has a max rating of 30 amps. But if you need to cut some super thin material, not a problem. We got 20 amp consumables. And then if you need to cut some super thick material, Go back up to 30 and get it done. Four, you're getting your first cut. When you're doing an edge start, one cool feature about the 30 plus is we've got the blowback feature. So if you don't have a perfect clean surface, it's not a problem. Painted, rusted, clean metal, the blowback feature is gonna let you get a nice clean start. Five, getting your ground clamp set up. So when you're cutting, you wanna make sure you put this as close as possible to that cut and just make sure that, that surface is nice and clean. Six, you wanna make sure you have a nice, steady travel speed because if you go too fast or too slow, you're gonna have a lot of excess draws. Seven, torque angle matters. You wanna keep it nine degrees to your workpiece as much as possible because anytime you get outside of that range, you're gonna have a wonky cut. Eight, you wanna make sure you start on the outside of your cut line because you gotta factor in the curve width. If you don't, you're gonna end up cutting material away that you didn't mean to. Side note, curve width is the distance from one side of the arc to the other. Nine, consumable check. Make sure you're using the right tips for the amperage that you're using on your machine. 10, practice makes precision. Get as much hood time as you can and just keep cutting. If you're just getting started, I hope these tips and tricks help you get underneath the hood as fast as possible. Through the years, I've learned a lot of things and if you stay with it, you will too. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you wanna see and keep cutting.